today's uh, trip report. I'm have a disclaimer here since uh, some mixing different chemicals and whatnot. Um, I do not condone nor am I uh, presenting drugs in any way to be uh, useful in, in that they, they do have consequences if not used properly or uh, ill, Ill, Ill lose, but used by uh, somebody who obviously can't handle something like that. So, what I'm really here is uh, about was um, uh, using cannabis with deuterostrichmonium, as well as uh, combining it with uh, a couple of beers. And I figured um, maybe it would become more of a mellow effect of, uh, since the deuterostrich is such a strange kind of delirium in its own way. Um, even though it's used by shamans, I mean, uh, a lot of people here, they don't, or, uh, they don't really, uh, research what amount can kill you, so there's been a lot of deaths and, uh, reported hospitalizations from deuterostrichmonium use because Bill informed, uh, people using too much, and, um, as far well as, uh, it has not um, a really high recreational use or uh, there's not really uh, any sort of positive overall um, feelings that you get from it so it's not really uh, um, one of them chemical drugs that you think you'd uh, just spend the day happy it's going to be walking along to the beach or something it's definitely more of an, um, a psychologically interesting uh, metamorphosis throughout the whole entire experience, um, submerging you into like a dreamlike state, and uh, while in that dreamlike state, um, in and out of consciousness, every like three to four minutes, or so, you, know, you come back to and start remembering, yeah, that's what I was talking about, and then, and then it would just be gone. The thought process is kind of similar to Benadryl. Um, but not as intense, and it's easier to think than it would be on uh, diphetamine hydrochloride if it was that. So, a trip report really is um, determining here, from my perspective or point of view of using this substance. Um, I mean, your your eye sockets get dry, as can be in very hard to uh, uh, quench the thirst of uh, just being all messed up on delirium. And then that, and then pupils being as big as saucers for like two days. Um, some people have even notice effects up to three to four days after, and some people just have it where it's like, one day over after, and that's it. And, uh, I guess it's all about how sensitive your receptors are um, to blocking them. Because that's what uh, I do believe that's the reaction that it creates. That's the definition of why you get hallucinations from it, is because it blocks your receptors. And, um, like a receptor, if you can imagine that's like a tree. And you cut it like uh, in half horizontally in the middle, but still it would be still standing vertically somehow, let's say, and there's a gap of about an inch or so, you know, and um, somehow water is going to transfer through that. Pretend that that's like a receptor, you know, and you bring these other this, these chemicals in, they come in and they, they block it, and then it's like no more water gets through so it blocks your dopamine and serotonin receptors and that's why it's such a dream like kind of state 